You're listening to part one of a Barefoot Lawyer Reports podcast in which Chen Guangcheng discusses the one-year anniversary of winning the Bradley Prize. Also, visit our website at catholic.edu slash chr to get a copy of our new report on illegal Chinese police stations. Welcome to another podcast of the Barefoot Lawyer. I'm Bill Saunders. I'm the director of the Center for Human Rights at Catholic University. And I'm here with Chen Guan Chen, our distinguished fellow. Hello, my friend. I'm glad to see you here again. Today, I want to talk a little bit about a, an anniversary that we just celebrated. It was one year ago today that uh, Chen Guan Chen was honored by the Bradley Foundation with its uh, prestigious annual prize. And he was one of only three recipients uh, a year ago. And a couple of days ago, we joined the, for this year for the uh, awarding of this year's prizes. And it was great to be back with uh, the people there because that foundation usually focuses uh, more uh, on uh, the United States. But because of Chen Guangchen's outstanding witness to the importance of democracy and human rights and the rule of law, as it is being abused in communist China, but should be following the model of the United States. And because he is an eloquent speaker about the importance of democracy in America and the uh, values and virtues necessary for democracy to flourish, they gave him the award a year ago. So we wanted to talk a little bit about it today. Wasn't it good to be back with those folks, Guangchen? Yeah, I, I think uh, more and more people understand about the Communist Party's uh, uh, evil. All the three speakers mentioned about that. Of course, they mentioned about the education problem in the U.S. I think that is important too. So for me, I I, I feel very uh, very good. I, I think in the future, the, the winners will focus more time to concern the human rights situation in the whole world, especially in mainland China. Yeah, so you told me that uh, the award winners this year each told you that they had uh, watched your video uh, from yes. last year's speech yes. and they knew who you were and they greatly admired what you're, you're doing. Yes, yes. She is uh, Nina Shi. You know, uh, uh -huh. when I talked to her, she said, "You are my hero. Yeah. You encourage me a lot, so I keep doing my work." And you let two years ago, you let me understand what is the black jail mm -hmm. and how it was the Communist Party in mainland China, and. Uh, What's happening in black geo happen uh, in black geo like that? Mm -hmm. The torture, the, the horrible torture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she mentioned a, a, a lot that she said. Oh, I will. I will, today. I will mention you uh, in my speech. Yes. 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 So, yeah. Uh, after that, you know, I talked to the three winners, the prize winners. Uh, all they said, I watched your speech last year. Yes. Didn't you say John Cochran told you? Yeah, John Cochran and uh, uh, Betsy. DeVos. Betsy yeah, DeVos. Yeah, the, yeah the, 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 another two winners. Mm -hmm. And they said, I watched your speech last year. And I, I think your voice is very important for the U.S. For to protect our values like that. Yeah. So yeah, I think this is why I mentioned the concern the U.S. situation for the future. They concern the whole human rights situation in the whole world, especially in China too. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So they mentioned about that, not just I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I hope more and more people can understand the infiltration here from the Communist Party very deep. Yeah. It's very deep. Well, one of the things that a couple of these people talked about was the importance of strengthening domestic institutions here in the United States, um, which is very important. But as you said, 
part of the reason that's so important is the U.S. is a beacon for uh, yeah. the rest of the world. Yeah, of course, U.S. is a beacon of uh, in the whole world. That yeah, so we should uh, we should spend more time to protect our freedom of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to prevent the Khan Party tried to destroy it. You know the. The CCP's uh, uh, ultimate uh, objectives uh, tried to destroy, to try to destroy universal values, civilized culture, and the freedom of body and mind. Yes. So that is dangerous. If we lost this free line, where we will go in? Yes. <laughs> and uh, you know, as as we indicated. Um, there have been other distinguished winners of the prize, so I just wanted to mention that part of what we do at the center is the Master of Arts in Human Rights, and two of our advisory board members are previous winners of the Bradley Prize, mm -hmm. uh, Professor Marianne Glendon from Harvard Law School mm -hmm. and Professor Robert George from Princeton. Yeah. And so as part of being a winner, uh, you give a speech, and as you mentioned, Nina Shea and others speak. Other winners mentioned uh, the terrible things that are going on in China. And last year, you gave a speech. Um, mm -hmm. Let's think back to that speech. Uh, a year ago, you told people uh, at the Bradley Prizes what you wanted them to know about China and about the importance of democratic institutions uh, here in the United States. Um, if you won the prize this year, not last year, mm -hmm. would you have said anything different this year in your speech? I think the basic should be the same, but I will give more detail about the persecution happening in mainland China now. Uh -huh. You know, before the Khan Party, uh, of course, they never stopped to do the persecution, right? But th this year, Looks like the Khan Party very, very worry. Yeah, they will lose power. So, so now they tried to sentence the people in prison. Uh, very, uh, how to say, much, much more harsh. My friend, his name is Xu Jiyong and Ding Jiaxi. Uh, they sentenced them in prison 14 years and 12 years. And, uh, Qin Yongpei, he is a lawyer, they sentenced him in prison uh, five years. And just uh, May 11, they sentenced my friend, his name is Guo Fixiong, we mentioned in our podcast, eight years. And this is the third time the Khan Party sentenced him. Mm -hmm. All together is 19 years in prison. Yeah. So, yeah, not now the company tried to use that to threaten Chinese people. Yeah, to stop them to demand democracy, to protect their rights. Yeah, so it's kind of a period of crackdown <clears throat> on human rights advocates uh, in China right now with long prison terms. And some of these people that you mentioned We've talked. We will talk about, or we have already talked about, on the Barefoot Lawyer reports. Yeah. So I tell every, I uh, would tell everybody listening that you can check our uh, web page and our podcast. And make sure you sign up for future ones, but you can find past ones on the website. You've been listening to part one of a Barefoot Lawyer reports podcast, in which Chen Guangcheng discusses the one-year anniversary of winning the Bradley Prize. Check back next week for part two.